Hello duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we're looking at slow-mo. I just realised I could have put slow motion on that, so I didn't have to do the slow-mo, but we'll, we'll roll with it. But before we get into this video, make sure you do like it. Let me know that you are enjoying the content, and if you've got any questions, let me know below. And also subscribe, put your rocket for the stone, let's go. So before we get into this, make sure you have checked out my instant replay video just up here. Familiarize yourself with how the replay plugin works that Exceldro's made. So I'll, I'll wait a couple of seconds for you to do that. Pause the video, that's it. Cool, so you've learned how to do that, okay? I'm not gonna go too in depth with how that works on this one. So I'm gonna show you my blank OBS that I've got just here. I've got my main scene that I've created there, which you guys will, that would be the scene that we're creating the replay from. And also I've created another scene called Slow Mo Replay. And there's different ways that you can do replays. I'm gonna be doing a couple more videos on different things that you can get out of there. But I've got my main scene, which I put a video in it. Damn. I'm ugly. Yeah, cool. I hope you're happy with yourself, Andy. You're a mess. And also this slow-mo replay source just here. I'm going to add a source onto it. And I'm going to add the replay source. It's like I don't know alphabet. Every video, I'm just like, where is it? And they're all like in alphabetical order. So add a replay source. I'm just going to call it replay source for now. Press OK. Select the video source that I want, so it was input, that was the name of the source that was on there. You can actually do scenes as well, but it's usually better to stick to a source. That way the audio and the video can sync up, because if I select audio source just here, you can only select an actual audio source, okay? So not, not the whole scenes audio. So it's completely up to you what you do with it. You choose a duration here. I'm going to say 10 seconds for the hell of it, even though it's not even 10 seconds. I'm going to say everything else seems fine. Yep, that's fine, that's fine. You can do your um, speed just here, so you can make it super fast or super slow. So one way that you can do it is just leave it on 100, just there. So I'm going to leave that as 100. Everything else is fine just here. Press OK. Go up to File. Press settings, go to hotkeys, and you'll see down here you've got your replay source just here. If you've got a lot of scenes in OBS, this will take you a while to find, but that's why I always like to keep a clean OBS for these videos. So we're going to create a ma um, macro for loading the replay, which I'm going to call Control 1, and then we want to also play it at half speed. Okay, so I'm going to call that. Uh, control num one as well, so it'll load the replay and play it at half speed straight away. You can create that as anything if you want to kind of load the replay and then take do a transition and stuff like that. So it might take a couple of seconds and then have another macro set up for play command. Uh, you can do that however you want. We also need to switch scenes. So I've already added that here. It's control one as well. So as soon as control num one is pressed, it's going to change scene, load the replay, and play it at half speed. Press apply, press OK. I'm gonna play my video. Wow, damn, you are ugly. Press Control 1. So as you can see, <laughs> it starts playing it in slow-mo. So if you got them glorious headshots and stuff like that and you wanna celebrate that, you can easily do that by creating a slow-mo. There is one more step that you can go to take this further. You go back up to File and Settings. Go back to Hotkeys. And you'll be able to see there's some more functions down here. You can actually make it go slower as well. You can also go faster as well. So I'm going to say um, we want to make it go slower. So there's a button, slower, press. I'm going to put that on a different command for control num2. Apply, press OK. And now when this is playing, if I press control 2 and keep pressing it, it will go slower and slower and slower until now it's playing it frame by frame. Wow. Damn. 
I'm muggly. I should have really used a better piece of footage, I'm not going to lie. Something that we could have actually slowed down that had slow motion, but it's all right. You get the picture. So there's many different ways that you can implement different things with the replay f function. You just need to kind of just be a bit more open-minded with it all and try and think of different creative things that you can do with it. You can also set these up on your stream deck and create different macros. So it'll play a replay for, say, 10 seconds, but then in the last five seconds, it'll go slow-mo automatically for you. If you want to see how to do that, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure you do like the video so I keep making content like this. Also, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Put your rug for the stone. See you soon.